you claimed in your complaint that there wasn't a refrigerator, but there was a stove. It just wasn't working. Yeah, the, only the three top burners worked. The oven didn't work. But there was a stove there? Yes. Okay. Is that correct that you were supposed to provide those things to her? Yes. In Section 8 inspection, Your Honor, sends uh, an inspector to inspect the whole unit making sh to make sure that everything works and that the appliances are in place. Without those two appliances, Section 8 would not approve the unit. Before the tenant moves in? Exactly. Yes, Your Honor. Do you get documentation from them saying, okay, everything is approved, passed? Do not have it with me. I don't have uh, evidence with me. Why not? Um, she was suing you for the return of appliances. I understand, Your Honor. I just don't have it. I couldn't locate it through my files. So why is she suing you for the return of appliances that you provided for the unit? It makes no sense. That's what I don't understand. All right, let's move on. Tell me about this infestation of roaches. I have a video of the um, roaches. You have a video? Yes. Of the roaches? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can we watch this video of roaches, please? Oh, wow. On the top of the fridge, those are roaches. Yes, oh. ma'am. That fridge was also six seven. months new. And big ones. Monster roaches. All right. And you informed the defendant of yes, this roach problem? Yes, ma'am. Sir? Your Honor, I did send a technician to once or twice. I don't remember the exact date. When the technicians would arrive at the door, knock on the door... Exterminators? To... Or Exterminators, oh, yes. Okay. To treat the unit. Exterminators for that, yeah. She okay. would just act verbally abusive to just... Basically, anybody I would send. You know this to be the case? Yes, absolutely. With exterminators? Yes. He never sent an exterminator. The person that came to do the stuff for the roaches was his brother, and I didn't know who he was because he just came in a regular car, and I had told him to call Greg so that I can know who I'm letting inside my house. And when I went back outside to let him in, he said he wouldn't do it. Did you send your brother to do the exterminator? And on one occasion, I did, Your Honor, yes. Is your brother an exterminator? Yes, he's a licensed uh, technician. And did you give warning to the plaintiff that he was I did, coming yes. by? I did, Your Honor. Um, but I, I want to go back to what I said earlier. She would berate or verbally abuse whoever I would send. I have proof of that. I had to um, send proof of that to Section 8 what, to let them know that... Do you have it in your exhibit list? I, I don't have it with me because I, wait, I didn't... Wait, wait, wait. Well, Sir, where, what did you think you were going to come today? She didn't submit... I, I, beforehand, I didn't see what she was going to bring. So it, I... It wouldn't matter. Yeah. I don't understand how you leave another piece of evidence that could have been helpful for you at home. Judge Juarez. Evidence at home is not evidence because it's not something that we can look at and use to decide the case. So, Ms. Wong, what I want to understand is these texts about the Roaches are from August of 2022. You lived there yes. for a year. What are you asking us to do about those today? I couldn't break my lease. It's, um, Section 8 makes you live there for a right. year. You have to live there for a year. Okay, but if you had gone to Section 8 with this video, they would have said, too bad? Um, I'm not sure what they would have said. I just was trying to work it out with him. Was the Roach problem ultimately resolved? No, he came, um, his brother came in and put, like, the roach gel on the, on the sides of the cracks of the walls and the little sticky things that you put underneath the fridge, like the tacks, the, the roaches attached to the sticky things. Okay. That's all he did. Okay, why didn't you move out after the year was... I didn't have any money. I didn't have, um, I, I didn't have the money to move. All right, so the largest value item here today is the return of the security deposit. And it seems that that hinges, at least in part, on when it was returned and on when you moved out. Ms. Wong. Actually, I moved out August the 31st. Okay. And I gave him the key back September the 2nd. Okay. You say no. That is not correct, Your Honor. Okay. She returned the key on September the, the 10th. All right. How did you return the key to him? Okay. So, first, he told me to leave the key on the property to put it underneath a mat or a hiding place. I have um, text messages where I told him I left the key in the hiding spot. Um, Do you have those for us? Yes, ma'am. I, I have it on my phone because these, they're not that good. All right, so. so let's, yeah, so why don't you pull them up, and while you pull those up, did you have any communications with her via text about leaving the key in a hiding spot or on the property? I did, Your Honor. I did, I did ask her to leave the, the key in, in the mailbox in a hiding area. However, she never did so. How do you know she didn't do that? Well, she didn't communicate it. She didn't tell me. She never indicated to me that she was going to do that after asking her to leave the key, yes, I did. you know, in a, in a secret place. What I'm trying to figure out is whether this could have been an issue of miscommunication, where she did leave the key, but you didn't find it, or whether just one of you was lying. <laughs>